everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and Sony has released X-Reality for mobile, so now is time for an update video. In my last video, I talked about Triluminous, especially Triluminous for mobile. In that video, I explained what Triluminous was, how it worked, how it was supposed to expand the range of colors that the display is able to show. Now, the Bravia TVs really are able to expand the amount of colors that they are able to show, but what I found when I measured this display is that it really isn't much wider of a gamut than sRGB. All flagship phones right now more or less have sRGB gamut. So I found that with this display, it's just a tad wider than sRGB, but what really makes it pop is the processing. Bravia 2 processing added a lot of saturation and it also manipulated colors. So what I'm seeing with X-Reality for mobile, I went and did all the measurements again and I'm actually finding that nothing has changed. It's behaving just like Bravia 2. So the processing is exactly the same. So this is essentially Bravia 2, but they have also added sharpening and grain. The whole purpose of that is to be able to take low quality content and be able to fake it so it looks like HD content. So they're adding grain and they're boosting sharpening. Sharpening. On some things, it actually looks pretty cool. It almost looks like it could be HD. But I think that the processing overdoes it at points, especially when you're looking at faces. The best comparison that I could make is to take an image and bring it into Photoshop and really boost sharpening. It ends up making some features look really blocky. So that is what I am noticing with the X Reality for mobile, is that some things look nice if the quality was decent to begin with, but if you have really low quality content, it actually makes some things like faces look pretty blocky. That's not an effect that I really wanted to see. So if you do not like the sharpening and grainy effect, you can simply disable it, but what would have been nice is if they had added a subset to go into to disable that grain and sharpening effect. Because as I had shown for myself, it's essentially just Bravia 2, like was on here before, but with this added grain and sharpening capability. An odd thing that I am noticing right now is it seems that Sony is having some DRM issues. So that's basically talking about licensing or licensed content. So for some reason, for me, and I want others to confirm this as well, I kind of want Sony to see this, is that unless the X reality for mobile is enabled or Bravia 2, because it's been doing this the entire time since I got this phone, unless this processing engine is enabled, Netflix won't load videos. I've asked around at XDA, but it seems like everybody there is not from the United States or from the United Kingdom where you are allowed to use Netflix. So I haven't had anyone be able to really confirm this for me, if this is just my device or if this is something that really is a problem going on. So the X Reality engine is on and I have Netflix starting up and you can see that it starts immediately. But as soon as I go into settings and turn off the X Reality engine or Bravia engine 2, when I go back into Netflix and try to play the video, it just sits at the Netflix screen. It just doesn't want to load. And again, we can go ahead and turn on X Reality or Bravia 2, play it again. And you can see that it starts right up. So that's one of the darndest things that I have seen. Please fix this Sony. This is three different firmwares that you have released and it's still having this problem. Also, after three releases, I'm seeing that it still can't play content from Google you can see it says couldn't fetch license error 43. It's been doing this ever since the beginning as well. That's kind of a big deal when video content is very huge with this particular device. And for now that means that I haven't been able to disable the X Reality engine, so I'm stuck with the sharpening effect and it's causing my less than 1080p video stream to look pretty grainy and I don't like it. It really ruins the experience. If you are watching content that isn't already filled with a bunch of artifacts or was rendered terribly, I think that the X Reality engine makes things actually look quite interesting. But otherwise, I'm really hoping that Sony is able to fix those few things that I'm talking about.